Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel and today I have something a little bit different to share with you guys because I may have splurged on something very special. So let me give you guys some context. For the longest time I have been lusting after something from Acme Studios and Fial Raven, especially from Fial Raven. Is that even how you pronounce it? I'm sorry if I completely butchered the name throughout this video. <laughs> so a few years ago when I went to Japan with my family, I think it was like in 2014 maybe, so quite a while ago, I saw my very first Fial Raven Kanken bag and but at the time, I was a wee little one, and when I saw the price tag on that, I was like, ooh, not this year. <laughs> but in the years since I was thinking about whether I should get one or not, I saw them again when I was on my trip with my boyfriend to Japan, and then I saw them again when I was there with my best friend two years ago, and I was just like, ugh. Every time I told myself no, until now. <laughs> So side story, I am actually heading to Brisbane tonight. So the day that I am filming this, I am flying out to Brisbane tonight to go visit my best friend with my other best girlfriend. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I figured that was my excuse to finally splurge on a Fiore Raven Kanken and get one as my bag for the trip. And then I can take it when I go to Japan, when I go to other countries, just whenever I go traveling, I've got a really sturdy and super cute backpack that I can take with me. You guys might've heard that Acne Studios and Fjall Raven did a collaboration about two weeks ago and I figured it was two birds with one stone. Acne Studios have some really, really gorgeous designs, but they were just way out of my price range to get anything from there normally. But it was always one of those really aspirational brands that one day I would love to own something from Acne Studios. So when they collaborated with Fjall Raven, I was like, I'm done, take my money. So here it is. Even the box feels nice. Disclaimer, I rarely spend my money on designer goods because I save all my money to go to Japan. But when I saw this bag, I was just like, Look, you have always wanted a Fjall Raven Kanken. You've always wanted to own something from Acne Studios one day, so... I think this is the time. So I haven't actually opened up the box yet because I figured I would do that on camera with you guys. So you can check it out as well. I've heard that Fjall Raven Kanken backpacks, which is what I got, I got the Kanken backpack, are super good for traveling. And because I know a lot of you guys are planning trips to Japan very soon, I figured an unboxing on this channel of this bag would be a good way to show you guys a backpack that might be suitable for you too. All right, I've been waiting long enough. I'm gonna open this box. bit asmr -y. So in the Acne Studios and Fjall Raven collaboration, there were a few different colorways of this bag available. I think there was a blue, a red, a khaki, a kind of camouflage, rainbow camouflage kind of design one, and then a yellow. I was actually tossing up between the yellow, the red, and the khaki because I figured that khaki is the grown-up color that goes with everything, and I tend to wear a lot of red clothing, but then I thought maybe the red one would be overkill. The yellow one was just too cute to pass up. Oh, it's pretty and we're not even at the bag yet. So as you guys saw before, the bag came in a box because I ordered it online. I ordered from the Acne Studios Australia website just because I really wanted to make sure it didn't sell out before I could get there. It was really lucky that the launch time was actually 7 p.m. local time here in Australia and everything actually went live at 6.30, but I was ready at 6.30 pressing that refresh button. <laughs> So inside the cardboard box is this Acne Studios bag in the trademark kind of salmon pink. So it's just a really giant paper bag. I kind of want to keep it just because it's so pretty, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Oh, she's pretty. So this is what was inside the paper bag. This is my very own Fjall Raven Kanken. It is so pretty. So it just comes in this sort of plastic bag. Let's take it out because Let's get into it. So like I said before, and super obviously, I got the yellow color. It's actually more of a sort of warm yellow in person than it is on the website. It kind of looked to be more of like a, a sunflower yellow, whereas this is more 
slightly on the mustardy side of yellow, but the official name of this color is the Dandelion. I'm not sure if they make it in the regular Fjall Raven Kanken. So you can see that there is the Acme Studios and Fjall Raven logo in the middle here. And then there is this beautiful like dusty pink handle. So all of the hardware, like the zips and things all say Acme Studios, which is super cute. So you're probably wondering how much this guy was. I think typical Fjall Raven Kanken bags in Australia at least are around 120 to 150 dollars which is already quite expensive for a backpack but I guess as soon as you slap the Acme Studios label on this yep that does jump up <laughs> so this guy was actually 300 Australian dollars from the Acme Studios Australia website I didn't have to pay for shipping because you get free shipping I believe with everything you buy on that website so that was a nice touch but because this bag is definitely more on the expensive side I will be taking really good care of it but at the same time I will be enjoying it as well so let's open it up and see what you can actually fit in here only I had this bag while I was actually in Japan I carried around a shoulder canvas bag most place I went while I was in Tokyo on my most recent trip and while it was great you were kind of like lopsided on one end when it got really heavy and honestly would this not have been the cutest bag to tote around Tokyo so I've just sort of pulled it open and expanded it a bit and it does look like it gets pretty pretty big you can fit quite a lot of stuff in here so let's open the front pocket. I've never really played with a Fjall Raven Kanken bag before, so this is all kind of new to me. So inside this really deep pocket is just this really nice sort of message from Acne Studios and Fjall Raven. It says, Acne Studios are longtime admirers of Fjall Raven. The Expedition Down, Kanken, and the Greenland Jacket are hallmarks of Swedish culture and thus synonymous with where we come from. And then you can just put your name, address, and your contact details in case this gets lost. And then there's just a little Swedish flag in there as well so the pocket inside is kind of a khaki green color so it's just a nice deep pocket in there so that is the front so if we head around to the back the straps are adjustable with these little clips you can just unclip those and then adjust the buckle for how long you need it to be and then you just clip it back up that's really cute. I love the clips as well. They say Acne Studio and Fjall Raven on them. Very cute. It is a little bit hard to open because the sort of zip cover does kind of get stuck in the zip. And then in the back here is just kind of like a slip pocket. That'll be nice for my laptop, actually. It can just slip straight in there. Attention, please. Attention, please. This is a test of the fire and emergency evacuation system. This is a test only. No action is required. Of course, this happens while I'm filming. About to get real noisy in here. Sorry, guys. Are you done? And then at the front, there is this pocket as well. So that's just a little pocket at the front, good for putting the keys. And then the little pockets on the sides are just little clip ones as well. So you can put little doodads in there. So that is the overview of my brand new Acne Studios in Fjall Raven at Kanken. I love it. I think it is so cute. Let's put it on. Might need to adjust the straps, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to adjust the straps. <laughs> it is way too short. All right, let's try it. Do you guys own a Fjall Raven Kanken? I feel like ever since I fell in love with it the first time a few years ago in Japan, I have seen them everywhere. So I feel like everyone has one of these bags. Do you have one? If you do, let me know what color it is in the comments below. So like I said at the beginning of this video, I did buy this so I could take it when I go traveling. So because I am going to Brisbane tonight, I do need to pack this guy. So I figured while I'm doing that, I may as well show you guys what's in my bag or the reverse of that, what's going into my bag for the plane ride over to Brisbane tonight. And then we can also see how much stuff is actually going to fit in here as well. So this is actually probably the size of a carry-on. I will put the dimensions of this bag over here in case you guys are interested. So the first thing I'm going to be taking is my MacBook Air. The flight to Brisbane from Melbourne, I think, is only like two and a half hours, so it's not long by any means. But you know what? I can get some pretty solid editing done in two and a half hours, so this guy is coming with me. So my MacBook is a 13-inch MacBook, and that fit in there really snugly. So 
perfect for you uni or school students. Now I'm also going to be taking my Kindle. This kind of blends into the background and makes it look invisible. <laughs> I tend to work long hours and then continue working into the night. So I've been trying to wind down by reading my Kindle more. I used to be a huge reader when I was a kid. We're talking like I would max out my library loan like limits and I read Harry Potter like the entire series 15 times each. So if that doesn't say anything. So I've been trying to get back into it because I love reading and it's a really good way to wind down. And while it's still kind of like screen time before bed, it's a little bit better for you than looking at your phone. So I figure just little steps, you know? In case you guys don't know, Brisbane is the sunny corner of Australia. But because it's gonna be a lot sunnier than it is down here, I will be taking a pair of sunglasses as well. They're just a pair of black teardrop shaped sunglasses. I really like the shape of these. The only problem is that they aren't prescription and I am blind as A. And I can't find cute prescription sunglasses anywhere. So if you guys know any brands, please leave a comment down below because I am desperate for a pair. But because I don't wanna buy water while I'm at the airport because everything is so freaking expensive at the airport. I'm just going to be taking an empty water bottle. I think I got this from like Coles or Woolworths or something. It's just a plain sort of corally colored water bottle and it does the job. So of course I'm going to be packing my phone with me. You guys have probably noticed with my laptop, my Kindle and my phone that I have a little bit of an obsession with marble print. So of course I'm going to be taking my wallet. This is just a Bershka wallet that I bought while I was in Tokyo and it's super cute. And then I have a couple of knickknacks to go in the front pocket. I'm just going to bring a scrunchie so I can tie my hair up on the plane. A lip balm. This is just the Burt's Bees Wild Cherry Moisturizing Lip Balm just because it always gets super drying when you're on aeroplanes. So this will be handy to keep on me. And then headphones because these are a must and if you're wondering what this little doodad on the end is it's because my iPhone is one of the newer models that doesn't have an audio jack which is really annoying so I had to go and buy one of these adapters so I could charge my phone and listen to music at the same time it's just and then last but not least will be going in my bag is my camera and my tripod, but I can't show you guys that because I'm currently filming on it right now. So that is everything that's going inside my Fjall Raven Kanken. As you can see, there is still heaps of space in there where I could put more stuff in there, but I won't because then I won't get past Jetstar's weight allowances. So if you guys are looking for a good travel bag, I do recommend this because you can fit so much in here. There are lots of compartments so you can keep yourself organized. Plus, they look super cute. I mean, can you go past this like adorable design? So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be enjoying my brand new bag and even more so the next few days in the sunshine with my two best friends. I will be vlogging my trip to Brisbane. So stay tuned for that if it hasn't come out already on my channel. That's pretty much it guys. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.